Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Now, if you watched my last video where I talked about my new camera, the ZWO ASI 585MC, that, this is it right here. And I mentioned that this camera appeared to be faulty as it was giving me strange output as it was changing colors uh, during the uh, preview of the planet Saturn. For example, where the colors were shifting from red to yellow to green, back to red. But after further investigation, the problem was not the camera. The problem appeared to be over in the software settings. So indeed, the ZWO ASI 585 is working perfectly. This camera is perfect for planetary observation. It has a sensor pixel size of 2.9 microns helps to bring out those planetary features. So let's take a look. All right, so here I am in SharpCap and there is Saturn. And look how clean this image looks. This is just at F10. I have no um, uh, uh, Barlow on the camera or no uh, extender on the camera, which I'm gonna do shortly. Anyway, but look how clean the, uh, the, uh, the image is. Now, I had a message on my Facebook page from many people and one from a Wordle 10. I think that's up in the Netherlands. And he suggested that looking at the settings in SharpCap under the uh, image controls and the uh, visible red and our visible balance in the red, the visible balance in the blue, and make sure those are not checked to auto and uh, that indeed looks like it caused the uh, the issue i turned them off and uh, made the uh, settings here manually and if you look at the settings if you bring this value all the way up you see the weird colors that i was having there you see that's what i was getting i was getting too much red and it was bouncing between red and yellow and if you take it all the way down to the uh, other end of the blue you get uh, too dark of a yellow uh, if you bring it in right, right, right around 50%, it, it does very well. In the in the uh, balance red, white balance red, if you take it on too much, it's green. So it was flickering between, between that color to normal color to the green color. And so it was in this area here that was causing the issues with the uh, camera. So if you're having one of these high sensitive cameras and you're using SharpCap, make sure you have the uh, uh, image control settings set to your specifications and I, I guess the way to look look at it now don't set it to auto um, anyway it's working perfectly now with these settings I got it at 50 50 and there's my image right there of, of Saturn with that so let's continue with the test this looks very good I have it at 25 milliseconds and I got the gain up to 338 so uh, it's it, it's looking very good right here and uh, as it gets a little bit higher up in the sky, I'm going to be able to get even a better image, I suppose, and hope. I know I'm going to love this camera, particularly over the next several months with Jupiter coming into opposition on September 26. Mars is steadily growing brighter each night. It's a bright, ruddy red right now, and it won't be reaching opposition until December, December 8th of this year, 2022. And coming up, I'm also making a video using this camera, the 585, with the Celestron 11-inch Edge HD telescope, which has a uh, native focal ratio of f10. That's 2,800 millimeter focal length. And then I'm going to be adding a 2x Barlow, making it an f20, and finally a 3x extender, resulting in a focal ratio of f30. If you can think about the native focal length of 2,800 millimeters, that being long, I wonder what the planets will look like at F30. That's the equivalent of a focal length of 8,400 millimeters, or to put that in American terms, 27 and a half feet. That's a long focal length. Anyway, you need those long focal lengths for the planets, particularly Mars. Mars is so small. Well, as astonishing as that is, the heavens are just filled with many astonishing views and all of these majestic wonders are available in the sky near you. So unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.